I just want to give you a few quick tips as you are getting to know how to use the S'more program um, to build your e-learning lesson. First of all, if you have any content that's already there, like in the lesson template, you can edit it very easily by just hovering over that section and clicking on it and you'll be able to be in an editing mode. You can click done when you are done. Another important thing to know is that you can move things around. So for example, this video that I inserted was supposed to be in the introduction, but I accidentally put it under instruction. All I have to do is grab it and drag it up. You can see those dashed lines appeared and it showed up in the introduction section now. So easy to move things around as necessary. Next, to add content, all we have to do is hover over the spot that we want it to appear below. So if I want to add something under Lesson Objectives, I'm going to hover over this and then click this little plus. That's going to bring up the most common options of things you might want to add. Now they're not the only options. There actually are a few more features that are available down at the bottom. So let's say I want to put in a button that's going to take students to a certain thing instead of just making it look like a link. Um, I can do that down here. That wasn't one of my options in that little mini menu before. So I can click on that down here, add what I need to add, and then just drag this to the area that I want it to be in the lesson. Another example of that might be if you want to embed a Google Form. That option is only down here at the very bottom. So you'd have to come down here to do that and then move it to where you want. But for most of your content, you can just click and pull the, those things right there into the lesson where you want them to be. The other thing I want to point out is that um, just now it saved my S'more. S'more does have an autosave feature that runs every few seconds, so you really don't have to ever worry about losing your content. So you don't have to click a save button to save it. It will save automatically. However, um, you do need to click update page when you want to um, make those changes that you've made viewable to anyone who follows the link to your um, flyer. So if you're making your changes and it's saving them automatically, it's really only saving it for you automatically. To make sure that other people see those changes, you will need to click update page. Okay, once you do click update page, you'll notice that it's showing you um, the finished version of your flyer. You can go here to flyer settings and you will have a paid account. So you will have the option to turn off the branding, which I would recommend, um, and also related flyers. You definitely want to turn this off because that is going to um, pull up flyers that other people have made that you may or may not want to have associated or visible to your students. So make sure that's really important that you turn that option off. Um, if you've included any copyright protected content in your lesson, you will want to make sure you put it on private. That will not keep it from being accessible to your students, but it just means that they have to have the link to get to it. They won't be able to find it with a Google search. Um, and so you'll want to save those settings. There's more things you can change there. And then right here you can copy the link to your flyer. This is a shortened link. Um, and if I click right there, it'll tell me that it copied it. You also could use this link up here, but it is a little bit longer. So you'll probably want to use that shortened link um, when you are trying to get this out to your students. Um, one last thing, if I go back into the editing mode, um, you see that you do have options for changing the background colors and fonts. You can play around with those and make your flyer look just the way you want it to look. If you want to learn more about how to use S'more, make sure you take a look at the full S'more course. But I just wanted to show you at least those simple um, ways of using the, the program to get you started building your e-learning lesson.